Ladies and gentlemen, it is time, episode number six of turning one penny to $100,000 all live in the thrift store. Oh, you've got mail. I, 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 I got the like internet that. going nuts. So what is good, guys? It is your host with the most, Paul Cantu. Sorry, my voice is a little bit blown. It's not going to be like this throughout the whole video, but I actually shot this video about a week and a half ago. And then if you guys have a kid, you know, when your child comes home from daycare with all those other gremlins, they be bringing all types of illnesses, bacteria, viruses into the household. And uh, hence, I was stricken down by one of the classmates of my son. But nevertheless, I am still here, still flourishing, and still have a banger of a video for you guys in my series, once again, of turning a penny to $100,000. So if you guys have not seen the other episodes, definitely be sure to click on them things and watch them. Also, I am donating one penny to charity for every single like I get throughout this series. And the first two months, all the money is going to the Nature Conservancy, which basically seeks to protect native areas, species of animals, plants, and just to preserve our earth and mother nature. So please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you guys aren't already. The comments are hilarious. Somebody says something about the IRS loves this series. Yes, they do, because every single penny I make, they take a fraction of. But yeah, let's get into it, man, because I made a lot of sales since the last episode. I'm going to make it quick and concise. I sold 283 items for a profit of $8,665.11. And that also does include my YouTube profit because I did get paid for YouTube. Now, I also get paid off sponsorships, but I'm not including that in this series because I legally cannot tell you guys what I get paid off that. It's like in the contracts. But yeah, whatever. That pretty much goes to paying myself as an employee and my help, which is my boy, Lil Kinky. Y'all know what time it is. Anyways, man, I also did spend $1,738 on clothes in bulk that I bought. So my total profit is $6,927.11, plus my savings, which was $5,550.55, a magical number. So my budget now in episode six is $12,000. $477.66. So I cannot thank you guys enough for shopping with me, for freaking watching with me, and just being a part of this journey. Again, I sell gear in two places. On my website, which is thriftheavenvintage.com, there is always gear in stock, and then I do live streams once a week, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. on whatnot. So yeah, this video is premiering on a Tuesday, so later tonight at 7 Central Standard Time, I will be live slinging gear or whatnot. It is a super fun time. We got a lady like looking in right now. Hi. No, you got to scoot over. You got to scoot oh, over here. Hi. Let's go, guys. The oh, people wow. say you're cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, these are nice products. That's cool. Paid actor. <laughs> <laughs> My username is Thrift God, and if you guys sign up using the link in the video description, you'll get $15 off your first purchase. So if you guys signed up using that link, don't hesitate right now to hop on the live stream to buy something and get that $15 off. But without further ado, man, we still are running it. So let's get to the first thrift sift and see what they got. All right, good morning, guys. It is bright and early. We're at the Goodwill Bins. They just opened like two minutes ago. So I'm gonna get in here and hopefully I can find some gear on the opening because I'm only here for a show time, not a long time, but I hope I find something divine. Let's get ready to rumble. Dude, that is hard. The upper deck jersey. Jackpot. Oh, yo, this jacket is pretty hard. That country Chevrolet, baby. With the green guts on the inside. I'll grab it, man. Look at the little pull tabs as well. Item number two. That is the first round in the books, the opening sequence, if you will. I got three things. Oh, One piece I did not show off was this Roper Real Western Denver, Colorado Narco swag with the embroidered pistols on the back of that neck. And then two vintage pieces. This one is super clean. The Upper Deck All-Star Fan Fest, the Orias, a nice native species to America. Got the Bird Gang, the nice gradient on the embroidered sleeve hit double cupped on the sleeves as well 
with this nice little hit right there. And then the Country Chevrolet is also very, very hard. Subtle, I just love that embroidered sauce. Now I did get some extras to throw in orders, such as these frog heads. And then I found this just randomly in a bin. It is this lady or this sexually ambiguous person who allegedly had a sword or something in their hand, but I don't know what it is. It feels like a hood ornament and it really stands out to me. So I'm just gonna grab it and it might just go on a shelf in the crib. Let's be real, but a pretty cool little statue-esque type of majestic Greek God or something right off the bat. Okay guys, we are officially out of there, man. I only found one other thing that tickled my fancy. Actually two things, I'm a liar. I found these polo sport swim trunks, you know, for the spring season. And then I found this crazy Arabian shrine circus. This thing is all embroidered, but look at that, man. All embroidered creepy clowns. I was definitely afraid of those as a child. Elephants with impeccable balance. And then of course I did grab this statue right here. Now evidently this thing is like a material called spelter, but it's clean. They go for like 60 to 70 bucks. I just like this girl fisting the sky. So what? I'll probably put this in my house as a nice little piece of interior decor or deco style. But yeah, man, it is still bright and early and I want to hit some Goodwills and some other thrifts that I don't usually attend and go to. So let's get there. Russia. All right, mama, we made it. We're at Goodwill. I'm going to a bunch of Goodwills today to switch it up because I need to keep finding interior decor and picture frames for the new headquarters. So hopefully there's some of that. Okay, so we have entered the premises. I have gone through every single normally priced item and that left me with the boutique section. And all I have to say is they have every variety of bootleg Houston Texans jersey you can imagine so I was just perusing and browsing and then I saw that the sleeve never deceives and for 15 bucks they have the Seattle new with tags this is a more newer starter piece but the starter that goes harder complete with the jewelry big back logo Mariners jacket all right, this is absolutely crispy, ribbed all the way out with the gray. This is hot as hell, and I will take it for 15 schmackers. I'm not gonna lie, man. I did not go through the ladies section, though. Look at this Levi's Paisley print puffer. I think it's like 10 bucks. Man, I feel like the mission is somewhat complete. I also found four amazing picture frames, which I need for the office space. One of them I put up front, which is crazy looking. But yeah, I got two for like eight bucks, so I got 16 and this one for three dollars. So uh, we got picture frames, we got a couple of garments. I say that's mission, success, and semi-complete. So here is the giant picture I got. The back of the van is already looking crazy. I found these two really sick frames that you guys saw as well. These three might actually be going into my residence and not the office, but this little bad boy definitely is going in the office space. Not this weird ass pixelated picture, but the frame at least. But yeah, the van is looking abstract already. I love it. So here we go, man. The third store of the day, which is crazy because the day is still young. A family thrift center. The sun is poking out, peeking, glistening on my white skin tone. Trying to get this little tan before the springtime. You did. Taking the scenery, guys. We are live in here. And man, I have already perused. I've already browsed. And I have been blessed. I've been touched by the hand of God and not through a priest man but through this t-shirt what Jesus Church of the Nazarene made in 99 dropped in Y2K thousand four bucks Hanes fitty fitty and then of course the classic some Thomas for your mom it's the Tommy for your mommy vertically striped nice arch embroidery another four dollar flamer this is vintage then of course I got my Rondo number nine Ballin. Adidas jersey. This is a limited edition. The back hit is crazy looking like cracked glass. Huh? And then last and certainly not least, bro, that allergy alert. Excuse me. This t-shirt may contain a nut. Hold on. Pause. 
Bro, a nut in the form of the person wearing it, or maybe there is a reproductive fluid stain on it either way. What? For only $2, it's on that AAA made in Mexico. This might have to be a giveaway item on the What Not live streams. We're gonna start off with a free 99 blessing. The shirt contains reproductive fluid, a nut. It could be you, it could be your children. Either way, it got nut up in it. Again, every single Tuesday at 7 p.m., tune in for the win. A good amount of the other items are, of course, gonna be on thriftadvantage.com. But uh, yeah, dude, aside from that, the tidy whitey section, bussin'. So we have arrived at the next spot, another family thrift center. Another. And there are hella birds in the sign. Migratory animals coming in, trying to find some of that flame too. Hey, I got a shotgun loaded up for these bad boys. Keep playing with me. All right, this is what I call slow accruement and steady hold on they got the south beaches Jackpot. and these beaches are only like 15 bucks these are actually relatively clean i'm gonna see but anyways man i found a three pack oh, of jerseys that they were actually about to send off to the outlets because no one purchased them and i figure someone watching this video has to be a missouri tigers fan or just a fan of collegiate jerseys that are clean i mean you have all the colors you have the home you got the alternate, you got the away. All of them are team Nike, seven bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and nab these dudes. They will be on the website as soon as I possibly can get them up. Hold on, then you got the dude who was featured in the movie uh, Hustle, where Billy Madison was the coach. New York Knicks, that boy Hernan Gomez. Okay, all embroidered. That is slightly taxed at Personal 15 file. bucks. Tripping. Fishes get you hella biatches. You guys know that to be a fact. Munching. And then you have two birds, one bat. The Mitchell and Ness 1967 Lou Brock jersey. Add that to the tab. And then these guys, man. The Carhartt double knee denim jeans. $7.00. Big old logo right there on that cheek. All the storage pocket for narcotics. Y'all know what it is. Then you have the Kansas Jayhawks made in USA. And then last and not least, they are taxing on Big Papa Pump. Because I'm gonna find me a freak, put her on a leash and get my release. What? what? Bro. 10 freaking dollars they are tripping personal file tripping this is from 1999 they go for about like 25 dollars so i'm thinking about it but 10 bucks for a toy in the thrift oh, wait a minute Bro, they got me ticked so i am gonna add the south beach air max pluses to the cart they're only 15 bucks people have ones listed in worse condition for a hundred plus tripping so i think i'm gonna go ahead and get these dudes i'll probably put them up for like 40 to like maybe 50. Still lower than anywhere else. Y'all know, thrifthavenvintage.com for the kicks. All right, we're about to leave, but last and not least to wrap things up, I came through with that snapback snipe. This is glorious, only $2 I think. I don't even know what that price says. Shit is undecipherable. Okay guys, we're out of there. Look at this, two giant bags, two pairs of sneakers. I got some Barkley Hyperfuses. Charles Barkley and Max Hyperfuses up in there. I did not get a clip, my bad, but they're in this bag. I spent $141. So I spent like 16 at Goodwill. I spent, I don't even know how much of the other stores, not a lot though. And uh, I'm very happy that I'm leaving with tons of clothes, jerseys, and shares. Shares. So yeah, here are the Barclays, super clean. These were $40, which is like very annoying. But at the same time, I think I'll throw them up on like Thrift Heaven for 60 something, maybe 70. They're just too crispy for me to not bless y'all's feet with. So we've made hella stops in this episode. Obviously one of them has to be the family thrift on Hillcroft, the outlet. Everything is 225 and the first piece I found is an absolute schmacker. Old school, liquid blue, single and ready to mingle. You got the C17 Glowmaster tree. Bro, on the liquid blue tag. Absolutely ek squeezat. This is art, man. Dude, the ultimate collaboration, Boeing, U.S. military, and liquid blue. Oh my goodness. 
Look at this. They put Shia Khan's skin on some concussion protocol. Yo, you got the bangles. Pro player. Popping like a Pringle. I got to. This thing is gorgeous. Check it out. Then we have another one, man, another because one. a Houston, Texas thrift will not be complete without a ton of gear from the Midwest. Cincinnati Reds. And look at that little Carhartt. Hey guys, are you like me? And you want to look like a floating head and some legs? Then look no further than the thrifted invisibility cloak. Real tree camo crew neck. This is dumb stiff. Never in my life have I seen a Levi's silver tab denim jacket. Just look at the button right there. As official as it gets, two-tone, kind of with the varsity cut. Oh yeah. This is what I love about thrifting, man. There's like 18 nasty, soggy V-necks. Actually, shout out my dad. He would rock this cut, man. That way, a little bit of the chest hair would still poke out. Swag. Swag. Take notes, man. Take notes from my pops, from Papa Cantu. Anyways, man, I found this tea intermingled. Maybe this was in my father's closet. Maybe he secretly had a hot rod collection I didn't know about. Maybe he was in Tennessee without me. What's going on, Dad? In 1993, too? A month before my birth? You was really out there in Tennessee having the time of your life? Okay, man, this ain't, this ain't about me and my father. Single stitch, fruit of the loom. Yes, this shirt is tough. What is this? Another one of my dad's secret car collection t-shirts? Stroke, Stroke my, my cactus. cactus. I've never been so tempted to put my mouth on this beer. Cross. That Gator Whiz? Yes, and it does match. This crazy 90s jacket. Sway. I got a nab it. Bro, what is that? Versace. Hold on, man. The Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Marina, Maria. Either way, look at the ships. Look at the ships of the colonizers. This is fire, though. Jesus. Guys, we got ourselves a grail right here. The flea market special. The Nike Air. Welcome to Brown Town. This looks like a delicious piece of fudge, man. Navy in white embroidered, checks over stripes, made in USA, questionable uh, reframing of the Nike logo on the tag, but still, even if it's not to scale, this is fresh as hell. That big booty bootleg. Oh yes, sir, indeed, that's one hell of a combo. Daytona 500, 1998, with the Marlboro Country Store, cow leather collar. Look at the back hit. I promise y'all this, there's nothing better than stumbling across a big old orgy of nothing but hot rod tees. Sensi, another Sensi, another Sensi, and then yet another Sensi. Come on, man. Check out the grail of all grails I just found. Somebody ditched this at the damn dry cleaner. A Pendleton suit slash like trench coat fur line jacket. This is looking like something Napoleon Bonaparte would wear. My God. Bill for royalty. Fuck yeah. And all right, guys. So we are out of the family thrift outlet on Hillcroft. And I got 40 items. Ran up a little bit of money. But um, got some cool stuff. And so we're going to proceed into the last spot of the day. And I am a little bit concerned because my engine is kind of tweaking. So... Let's fingers crossed get there and uh, get home in one piece. All right guys, so here we are in the next spot. We made it in one piece, which is absolutely astonishing. As is the first two pieces of heat we found as well. The Ricky Martin 1999 Winterland original on the Toltecs. But yeah, I got the little Winterland design on it. Let's go. Grateful Dead, new school, but still cool. Side eye trippy shit all right these two pieces are on the exact opposite of the size spectrum you have the 5xl mac dre rap t actually is like 4xl this nation and then you have the cincinnati bangles on the vintage nutmeg mills and the leprechaun font okay this piece is sick dude you have the atp tour by uh Adidas. Look at that. The ventilation system is intact. A little bit of wear right there, but the Adidas Tennis Pro or whatever that stands for, I'm not exactly sure. White tag, cut and sew Adidas. At first when I saw that A, I was like, is this the Air Jordan piece? But look, I'm not even mad. That's a cop. All right, there's a nice little two pack right here. You got that Kentucky Speedway. This is new school, but it is still cool. Double sided with the lightning poking a perfect patina makes it look way older than it is. And then you have the banger. Single on the Stiach starter. No need to whip out the observatory. We can see it right here, right now. I got to rock this. 
at least two times. I love this piece. It's so subtle, yet it has a major plot twist. Marlin's Majestic, made in Mexico, size large, right? Plain Jane, and then poppin' 1990, what? Seven! Seven! World Series chumps, all embroidered with the Majestic back hit. Okay guys, I'm about to go ahead and skedaddle on out of here. But we have a four pack to conclude the day. Yes, the Rainbow Warrior. I love this car with the flames on it back in the day as a, as a young child. As a young child, I love staring at the car. It's just going in the circle. But yeah, super hard determination. Always keep that in mind. Nike Golf Vintage Essential Banger. Space Cadet Johnson. <laughs> you guys want to see my Johnson? Pause. Houston, Texas, hometown heat. And then some true vintage, okay? Student Week 1979, Glorietta on the old Artex tag. Yo, that's hard. And all right, class, so we are back to present day semi-sick, Paul. And uh, behind me, we have all the gear that will be live on my whatnot tonight at 7 p.m. Again, I'm going live after this video premieres, so you guys definitely want to tune in for the win. I do have the picture frame that I added hung up that I found in Goodwill. I got myself a nice little microwave in the office area. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanted anything specific from this video, a lot of the items already did sell. This is why you guys have to follow your boy on whatnot. But I still do have the kicks that are gonna be dropping on the website, most likely today as well. We got the Barclays in hand. These are definitely fire. And then behind me, we have multiple racks of absolute firecrackers that will be hitting the website. So yes, guys. Thank y'all for watching this video. I definitely do appreciate it. Once again, please hit that like button on the way out and I'll catch y'all on the live stream tonight, baby. Peace and love, live the dream, eat that ice cream. I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out.